for an unboxing video. I don't usually sing, but man, pipes like an angel that smoked a lot of something. Um, anyways, I know everyone's waiting on reviews, but this is my fault. I've been setting up a new studio. I got busy. I got bogged down. I forgot to email a bunch of companies. So there's a lot of stuff coming in still that I'll be testing. Evergoods, Dispatch, Air, Huru, Bellroy, this one from Tropic Field. We got tons of stuff. And so because of that, Tropic Field is a brand that a long time ago, I tested out their shoes. And I got to be honest, I was not a big fan. I just felt like they rubbed me the wrong way. It was the first one ever they did on Kickstarter, like way back when. Since then, this brand has grown exponentially from having different shoes, clothing, and now a variety of bags. Because they had a big sale going on, I figured I might get my hands on one of those and try them. So I got myself a bag and an accessory, and we're gonna do an unboxing and a first look as I get ready to take this on a trip to test out. Let's get into it. Okay, so like I said, this is the bag from Chop. What the? Okay. Great, great. We're gonna we're gonna keep that in. One take, baby. So I'm very excited because from what I can tell, and some of the people I've talked to in the bag review community have been testing these out or they've been asked to test them out. And I got the nest. Now they have the hive, the nest, the shell, and a couple others. But the nest to me seemed like the perfect all around everything bag. So it's kind of supposed to be, you can take it on a quick day trip. It has some expandability. We are 0 for 2 on opening this stuff. But now with this bag, I also got their packing cube. Ah, first try on that one. Yippee. Now this is, I believe, what do they call this? This is like their smart packing cube. It's a 10 liter packing cube that is supposed to fit here on the front with these like little adjustable guys. First impressions, I gotta admit, this material is a lot better than I was anticipating. I don't know what I was 100% expecting, but I do, I do like the feel of this. I do like this elastic bit, and I really like, if you can see right here, you know what, we're gonna zoom in a little bit so you don't have to worry about that wide angle and see my white legs. I do like this raised Tropic Feel logo right here. I think that's solid. These are four, and this is something that I actually was kind of excited about. This has what they call a kangaroo pouch. Comes out the bottom here, and you can fit things like shoes or other items, maybe like a jacket or something like that. Now, I like this because you could use it, tuck it away, you don't have to use it. This is cool, so that's what these hooks right here are for. So that's interesting, easy to stow in this undercarriage right here as well. So that is a cool little feature and that is adding a little bit to the expansion on this pack, okay. Definitely gonna need to add a zipper pull on this. I have a bunch of extras because not having a zipper pull on this, I don't like how small this zipper is. That was painful to close back up if I'm being honest. So I like this. You got a nice little pouch here in the front. This is a additional for that to, like I said, put that packing cube in here or you could put whatever you want in here, like jackets and stuff like that. There's a lot of different ways I could see utilizing this front portion of the bag. So I'm excited for that. Moving into the inside, this, according to their website, is for the uh, camera cube that would come in here or that you could buy additionally. So Tropic Feel has a really nice thing where you can add accessories for a discounted price. So you can add like one accessory, two accessory, or three accessory, and it like is a certain percentage off. So a little bit of organization up here at the front with some side pockets. YKK zips, big fan of that. Doesn't look like there's any weather guard, but there is this little flap here on the front that does give you a little bit of protection. I know that this is water resistant. Little pocket here, closed pocket there. And yeah, it looks like that's probably it for the internal organization. I see some spots in here that look like they're for other accessories. This is another thing that I was interested about. This is a little like, almost like a pop out camera cube. If you remember the Wander Duo Pack, kind of has something similar to this. And on the side here, there is a side pocket that leads into this right here. So you can either bump this out and put like a water bottle. I've seen some people do that. Or you could put like your jacket, you could put your tripod, whatever you wanted here, have a little extra protection. Or if you don't want to utilize it, it just kind of folds away. So I like, I like that. So, and then it looks like you also have like an elastic bit here on that door that goes in. Speaking of the side of the bag, we're just kind of rucking through this at different areas. Adjustable straps with some strap stays like that. So these are good for putting stuff on the side of the bag. 
You also have one on the other side with an external water bottle pocket. Then a weather guard zip here on the laptop compartment. Now, according to the website, up to a 16 inch laptop. So that is great. I like that this one is weather guard. I like that extra sense of security so far. Very impressed, even a little bit of a rain guard here at the top. Good zipper pull, big fan. Moving to the back of the bag, the straps, first impression, not bad. I mean, there's some beef to them. I like them. No load lifters. That's fine. This is a smaller bag. Strap stays here down for the adjustable. A buckle that's adjustable for a sternum strap like that. Overall, not bad. Now, the back panel itself, being summer, this is the perfect time to test a back panel in the heat of wearing a bag. It looks like nice luggage pass through, pretty wide, but not bad for those of us that are going to be using this as a carry on, maybe in with a roller bag because also back here again one of those small zippers that i'm not a big fan of but in this one kind of makes sense because this is your like passport hidden secret put your cash put your money in this so i like that this is pretty solid another logo down here at the bottom and then up here at the top it looks like a quick access soft lined pocket that is nice good for sunglasses that's also going to be a security dump for those of us that use it on travel now one thing i will say about this it does say on their website that it has the ability for expansion now what they mean by that is with the kangaroo pouch with this packing cube that you can put on the front that is what takes it from the smaller size up to the larger size so it's not like there's a zipper to expand this is a bag that expands if and only if you buy certain accessories which is why i would suggest probably just buying the packing cube but with that being said if you had a packing cube that would fit here as i'm sure if you're an avid traveler you probably do because i have a couple that definitely would so overall i'm very excited to check out this nest backpack so stay tuned for a full in-depth review but in the meantime if you have any questions comments or concerns about this pack in the first look them down in the comments below because as you throw those comments down as time goes on i've been using it so i might be able to answer some of those for you don't forget to like subscribe and all of that wonderful nonsense thank you so very much for all the love and support and the patience as i get the new studio set up because it's gonna be dope and with all of that being said i will see you next time